Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate one of the Selenium web driver commands that is get cookie named command. So what is the purpose of this command? Let me explain. When you browse an application in any browser, say Chrome browser, then this application will add some cookies to our browser in our local machine. Now, if you want to retrieve a particular cookie that is added by this application into your browser just by using its name, then we have to use this command that is get cookie named command. We just need to pass the name of the cookie and this command will retrieve the cookie that is added by this particular given application in the browser. So let me practically show you how to use this command for retrieving cookie with the help of its name. So let's switch to the practical mode here where you can see some sample automation code is already written for opening the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser and opening the application URL. When this application URL is opened in this uh, Chrome browser, this application is going to add some cookies guys. Let me first show you what cookies this particular application adds. Let's run this, right click run as Java application. You see, the Chrome browser will be launched, it will be maximized and the application will be opened. When the application gets opened in the browser, this application will add some cookies to our browser guys. Let's see that cookies. Click on these three dots, go to settings. When you go to the settings, now scroll down a bit. Uh, here, somewhere here, you will see the cookies and other side data option. Click on that. Now again, scroll down a bit. Here, somewhere here, you will see, see all cookies and side data option. Click on this. Now, you'll see that this particular application that is tutorialsninja.com has added some three cookies. How many cookies got added? Three cookies. So how to find the details of this cookies? Click on this. When you click on this, these are the three cookies that were added by this tutorialsninja.com. When you browse this application in the browser, this application has added these three cookies. Now, uh, if you want to find the details of a particular cookie, let's say this cookie, I want to find the details of this cookie. Click on this particular cookie. You see the name of the cookie is this one. And uh, the value of the cookie is this one. The domain of the cookie is this one. The path of the cookie and uh, expiry date. It doesn't have an expiry date. Other cookies may have some expiry date. You see, when I select the currency cookie, it has an expiry date. Whereas this particular cookie doesn't have any expiry date. Okay, fine. So, so what I want to do is, I just want to give this particular name of the cookie and get the remaining details. Let me show you how to do that. Now you know this particular application is adding some cookies, like uh, these uh, three cookies having some different names. Now using this particular name of the cookie, I want to retrieve this particular cookie. How to do that? For that, let me close all this stuff. I just copied the name of the cookie guys already from the browser, driver.manage.get cookie named like this, get cookie named. Here I need to provide the name of the cookie. Now using the name of the cookie, this particular get cookie named command will retrieve the cookie from the application, okay? The cookie that is added to the browser by this application will be retrieved just by providing the name guys. That's the purpose of the get cookie named command. It will return a cookie. We are retrieving a cookie which is added by the application into our browser. Simple. Now, once you retrieve the cookie, what you can do with the help of this cookie? Okay. Once you retrieve a particular cookie, what can we do with the help of this cookie? Let me show you. We can print out a lot of details of the cookie guys. Cookie will have a lot of details like name of the cookie, value of the cookie, domain of the cookie, path of the cookie, expiry date of the cookie, like that many details will be there. All those details, if you want to retrieve, we can use this cookie. So here I will first uh, retrieve the cookie name. How to retrieve the cookie name? Here I need to say plus provide the cookie, say dot get name. This will retrieve the name of the cookie. Now, if you want to retrieve the you want to retrieve the, I want to retrieve five details. That is name of the cookie. If I want to retrieve the value of the cookie. So for that, I will say dot get value. It will, it will get the value of the cookie. Now I want to get the domain of the cookie. Domain of the cookie. For that, I have to say cookie dot get domain. I want to get the path of the cookie. For that, I have to say cookie dot this particular retrieved cookie dot we have to say here okay dot get path path of the cookie now i want to retrieve the expiry date of the cookie cookie expiry date for that i have to say cookie dot 
get expiry. This will retrieve the expiry date of this retrieved cookie. Now, once all the details of this particular retrieved cookie are uh, retrieved and printed, I want to close the browser. So for that, I will say driver.close, simple. Now let's run this code and see whether with the help of the given cookie name, this get cookie named command is retrieving the cookie or not. And after retrieving that, we are able to get the details of the cookie or not, okay? So let's see that in action. Right click run as Java application. So we'll open the application. It will retrieve uh, the cookie having that uh, given name and it will get the details of all the details of the given retrieved cookie. That is cookie name is this one, cookie value is this one, domain, cookie path, expiry date. It doesn't have expiry date, so null came. That's fine. So guys, this is how we need to use get cookie named command of Selenium web driver for retrieving the particular cookie ha having this particular given name. So hope you understood how to use this command. So that's it guys. Thank you.